Okay, I think we'll get started. Welcome again to this week's Lunch and Learn webinar series presented by the SEND Design Group. I'm Dan Luck, uh, your host with the SEND. We believe that if you learn more, you're going to earn more. And delighted that uh, you're joining us again for this uh, conversation with Covered Bridge Cabinetry, our presenter today with this webinar. Um, I am uh, going to go through a couple of housekeeping items that we typically discuss each and every week that we hold a webinar. Uh, this is another Zoom webinar, which has the capacity or capability of being able to have you raise your hands if you've got a question or concern or a comment, observation that you'd like to make. Go ahead and utilize that if you will. Uh, and if you'd like, and we will unmute you and you can go ahead and ask questions. If you're being a little shy, uh, no problem. You can also enter a question, comment, or observation in the chat box, which is typically in the lower uh, tool bar section of your screen. And we will be monitoring those chats as well as the raised hands. As in each and every other webinar, this is also being recorded and will be posted on our website, the sendesign.com website, for your viewing pleasure uh, after, uh, after this is over, typically posted within 24 to 48 hours. So with that in mind, I would like to introduce you to today's presenter. His name is David Domos. He is the Vice President of Sales and Marketing with Covered Bridge Cabinetry. David is a industry veteran, being in the cabinet industry for over 22 years, where 15 of those years was spent with CraftMade, that would be with a K, where he started off in the marketing department, and he soon uh, got engaged in sales management in the sales management role. David has been focusing his uh, attention throughout his career on understanding the needs of owners, understanding the needs of designers, installers, and of course the end consumer homeowner as well. He has experience working with custom cabinetry, which is uh, our topic today, a conversation with Covered Bridge Cabinetry. Please welcome David Domos. David, we're glad you're here. I'm glad to be here and I appreciate everyone taking the time to uh, join us today. And I'll go ahead and share my screen. Please do. All right, everyone can see the screen? Beautiful. Okay. All right, well today I'm gonna to talk to you, uh, give everyone kind of a quick overview of covered bridge cabinetry and some of the things that we do that are different, um, you know, than most custom companies. You know, we're really focused on being bringing a high quality product at a great value, uh, but also a custom line that's easy to use. Uh, additionally, towards the end, we'll talk a little bit about our uh, today's Bath Express uh, Bath program. But let me go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with a teaser. Uh, towards the end of the presentation, we've got a uh, more than one promotion that we're going to be talking about that we're going to be offering SEND members. And uh, I think everyone will be excited to see what we're going to offer. So Covered Bridge Cabinetry is a true custom cabinet line. Um, you know, really, if you can dream it, we can make it. And this slide does a real good job of showing you know, some ideas like this one piece island uh, that was drawn up and that we created out of that. Uh, additionally, you can see a sketch of a circular appliance panel and you'll see the finished product here. These were the shop drawings that we sent back and we produced it. So a lot of custom companies wouldn't touch something like this, uh, but we will and so Anything you can design, as long as we think it's structurally sound, uh, you can draw it on a napkin and we'll put it into AutoCAD. But if it's, if we may make suggestions to make it structurally sound, uh, but we are true custom. We make our own doors, we make our own moldings, we turn the legs ourselves, so we are full custom. So we really focus on offering a quality product that you can both see the quality and feel the quality. So you look at it and you're not gonna see imperfections. Additionally, everything is smooth to touch. 
That would include the finish, as well as your drawer boxes, the dovetails are smooth. So, you know, we're really focused on offering a very good high-end quality product, but starting in a semi-custom price point. So we really start the process of building something different. The first thing your customers will notice is the difference that, on how we do finishes. And, you know, as we'll talk about it, you'll see why we say it's built one layer at a time, because each layer adds to the quality. You know, we're not doing a meter or we're not sitting there saying, we only want it to be this mills thick. We've built steps into the process to make sure that we have a very nice finish every time. And most people will look at a five piece door, like a miter door and think it's a one piece MDF. So, you know, we really, you really got to search for any lines and the way we do things. How we do that is we start with two coats of tinted primer. We then also do two coats of paint. We do a sealer and a top coat. So this gives you also, since we're doing a true sealer and top coat, you're not gonna get that metal mar that you get with some painted finishes. And that's caused by manufacturers uh, trying to combine the top coat and the paint into the same finish step. So you're not gonna see the wood grain coming through or anything like that. You know, you're gonna have a true solid finish that nothing's gonna be coming through. Uh, additionally, we do this in both our paint and stain. Uh, before we assemble the doors, we pre-finish pre the edges of the center panel. So it's not all the steps, but it's what it'll do is give you a blended color so that if the panel shrinks, you don't have a white line, you have a blended color there. So with our stains, we also have multiple steps built into that. So we're going to do, depending on the color, two to three coats of stain, two layers of sealer, and a layer of UV top coat. Again, finishing the center panel edges. Uh, so, you know, another thing that we do with our stain is we do, uh, we've, had, we've invested in better grade stains that we really wanted it to bite deeply into the wood so it gives you that rich furniture look. So, you know, we, we've invested a little bit to make sure that we're providing a great looking stain as well as a great looking paint. So the next step really in how we do things is we, we're really set up to give you design freedom. And what that means is that you can do any of our finishes on any of our door styles, in any of our wood species, on any of our three levels of construction. And I'll go into more detail about those as I'm talking over the next few slides. So we have 17 standard paint colors, and you can see that we definitely have uh, different shades of gray. We've got the, you know, the, our deep sea. Um, we also have some gray toned stains. So we have 15 standard stains uh, that are available and those are no charge. And then we have 17 paint colors, which uh, those are gonna be a 7% uh, up charge. Additionally, you can do Ben Moore or Sherwin-Williams uh, Sherwin matches, and those would be the same cost as our standard paints. So we give you freedom with the finish, we also give you freedom with the door styles. Now we start with 24 door styles, but we really have a lot more doors than that. So we have, if you're a mortise and tenon door, if we have a mortise and tenon door, we have up to four different rail widths. So you can see here in this, uh, our shaker door Farmington has a two and a quarter, three, three and a half and four inch uh, style and rail available. You also can choose your outer edge. And also we do have insets, so flush and beaded inset. So you can mix and match all of this. You can also do any of those door styles and any of those finishes on any wood species. So 
if you wanted even a painted walnut and you wanted a uh, rub through on the, to, you know, the, the brown to come through or the cherry color coming through, you could select walnut or cherry and we'll do a paint grade of those woods, which will give you a great value uh, because on there's those are walnut and cherry are no upcharge woods in paint grade. So that gives you the ability to finish those and actually give people those undertones that most manufacturers will only, you know, they'll add a little bit of stain into the corners after they've sanded them off. So, you know, we have uh, eight wood species standard. Uh, if we can source other woods, we will get them. Uh, the four grades are paint, natural, rustic, and select. Natural is the most commonly ordered, which, you know, is a really good quality. Uh, when you go to select, the difference is you're not going to see the differences between like heartwood and sapwood and that type of stuff. So, you know, you'll, you'll get a little closer grain pattern uh, match when you go to select. Uh, another option that we offer for rustic um, is a paint grade option. So you can actually stain paint grade and it won't have the knots, but it will give you some character of, you know, natural wood. So uh, we definitely have some, you know, real neat features there. And we actually have uh, some value engineering built into some of these in paint grade as well. Uh, you know, like a door style like, or wood species like poplar is actually a 5% deduct when you do it in paint grade. Uh, so in that case, you know, you're, you're taking 5% off your cost and, you know, the paint up charge is 7%. So in reality, you're paying an extra 2% for a painted job if you do it on poplar. Uh, one thing to note on poplar, if you're painting it, is that painted poplar, um, in a lot of respects, can be better than oak. I know a lot of people are concerned about um, you know, that poplar is a little softer and it might dent. But one of the things to think about is that poplar lets the paint actually go into the wood, where maple, it tends to sit on top. So if there is um, something that would hit the door hard enough to dent poplar, a lot of times it would actually chip the maple. So uh, we have the wood species. We also have uh, three construction levels and I'll go through those in detail. So first we have ultimate construction. It's an all plywood box, uh, three quarter inch plywood ends and wall cabinets are 13 inches deep. And you know, here's a, a cutout showing what our corners are, is gonna look like. So this is our standard edge. And as we go a little further, you'll actually see our lock mitered edge, which is here. Uh, so you don't have that little bit of a, you know, that step back that you have there. So when it comes to ultimate construction, we give a lot, we build a lot of value into this. Uh, we have three quarter inch drawer boxes, uh, but you can get them in ultimate for the same price. Your customer can select from maple or walnut. So that's going to be at the same price. Uh, you'll notice one of the things, the way we do uh, dovetails is they are always smooth. Uh, you're never going to have rough ones or ones that aren't lined up where the joints are sticking out, the dovetails. Um, in the ultimate construction, we do have uh, Bloom Tandem Plus. So these, uh, the runners that come with these drawer boxes are uh, six-way adjustable. So you can adjust them up, down, left, right, and forward and backwards. So, you know, it just gives you a lot of flexibility there. And then also on any drawer box that's over 18 inches wide, we go ahead and add a support beam in the center of the drawer box to give it additional support. And that's on all three levels of construction. Next is our premium construction. And the premium construction is nine and a half percent less than the ultimate construction. Primary difference is hardware and drawer box, and also the fact that 
Uh, the wall cabinets are 12 inches deep rather than 13 inches deep. Uh, again, three quarter inch plywood ends, but it is an all plywood construction. Uh, same end as you'd have in the other. Uh, drawer box goes from three quarter inches thick to five eighths thick. And it is a poplar, but we have a really good clean poplar grade. Most people look at it and think it's maple. So, you know, you're gonna get the same features with smooth, you know, to touch and everything, no matter what the construction level is. Uh, one difference you'll notice is that uh, the runners, instead of being the Bloom Tandem full extension soft closed runners, uh, these are Bloom Tandem edge runners, still soft closed, uh, difference being they only open up seven eighths of the way. So in reality, about two inches of the drawer box, the back two inches actually don't clear the face frame, but you know, it, it's definitely, you know, a very nice runner and uh, but part of how we get that nine and a half percent difference between the two sets. Uh, if you look at the essential construction would be our third level. And again, that's another step back of nine and a half percent. And what that does for you is you still get the three quarter inch ends, plywood ends. So instead of an all plywood box, you're getting a plywood end box. Um, you're gonna get engineered wood though, for the floor, your back ceiling or I-beams. And again, the wall cabinets are 12 inches deep. And on base cabinets, uh, one additional change on this is that they are half depth shelf, shelves on base cabinets uh, for the essential construction. With essential, um, it's actually a rubber wood, but it's a solid um, drawer box. So it's a solid hardwood and there are no uh, finger joining or anything like that. And again, as you'll see, uh, everything is still smooth to touch. Uh, just materials your big difference. Again, the Bloom Tandem uh, uh, edge runner system, seven eighths opening. Another feature, we added this in January, is a lock mitered finished end. So that's a three quarter inch, takes our three quarter inch end and actually makes the edge, you know, uh, what some people may call a magic corner or something similar. You just, it's a, you know, it's a true furniture look when you go take, select that option. With our um, construction, we also do inset. So we do flush and beaded. Uh, here you can see flush and you'll also see a beaded inset here. Uh, one of the big things we do um, with inset, and I know that, um, you know, we probably have one of the best values in inset out there, and we do not charge to combine cabinets. So if you wanted to combine two different cabinets, you're just paying the price of those two cabinets. And so we'll charge you for those two cabinets, but we combine them for no additional fee. Um, Inset is available in all three levels of construction. When you select inset, one thing we're gonna do different is in the Bloom Tandem, uh, for the drawer boxes themselves, um, just for the adjustability on inset, uh, we are, no matter which construction level, we're gonna use the Bloom Tandem Plus full extension runners as part of that upgrade. Uh, we wanna make sure that you know, your end customer is satisfied and we know that adjustability on inset is something that's very important. Uh, another thing that we'll do that most manufacturers won't do on inset is we will do a mitered door. So, you know, and actually this picture uh, is actually, this frame is painted and this is actually a walnut uh, door right there. So. Uh, you know, but we'll do some interesting combinations. Uh, you know, again, going back to if you can dream it, we can make it. So one of the things we understand is, you know, the way most manufacturers handle promotions uh, causes many dealers to hold orders. And we looked at it and 
we asked the question was why, why do that? Why would we not want to always have a promotion in front of you so that whenever you have somebody in front of you, you can offer a promotion on a kitchen without having to hold it for two or three weeks, you know, and calling the rep to find out when the next promotion is. So, you know, covered bridge, you can select one of these. If you have a kitchen of 15 cabinets or more, and we actually will let you combine other rooms into that. So, uh, you know, say the kitchen had 13 cabinets, but you came up with two vanities, uh, you would still be able to combine them to the job and, you know, take advantage of the promotion. So the Your Choice promotion lets you select either four pre uh, pieces of free uh, crown molding. You can select a free sink base. And as you know, here you'll see it's a farm sink uh, that's in this one, but you can select, uh, you know, our different sink bases. Uh, we also have the ability to select from uh, four of these free deco ends. So those are field installed matching uh, ends. We also offer a free uh, double waste basket cabinet. Um, so that's, you know, a very popular item. And if somebody's doing a lot of glass, the option that you'll see a lot of people go with just based on the savings is that we'll give free glass. So if somebody is doing all their uppers in glass, it's a significant savings to use that uh, promotion. So, you know, we at Covered Bridge are really focused on simplifying custom. Because um, we know that bringing on a new line can be time consuming. It also can be intimidating sometimes. You know, when you've got a spec book that's nearly 700 pages, what can you do to make things a lot easier? So, you know, we've focused on being easy to design with, easy to specify, easy to price, and easy to order. So, to start with on the easy to design, we are available in both 2020 and Pro Kitchens. And within those software packages, so 2020, we had them rebuild the catalog from scratch. So it takes advantage of all the newest features within there. So uh, the global attributes are definitely uh, being fully used for 2020. So when you place your first cabinet, the global attributes will automatically open up and you start making your global selections. But you'll see graphical representations of you know, different items as you're going through your selections. So with the Farmington, say the, our shaker door, you can see it's available in the two and a quarter, three inch rail, three and a half, four. So you would select that and whichever one you select would become your global attribute. Um, and you just walk through the process. You select your edge that way that type of stuff and you just walk through the process. So it's very simple. And, um, you know, we're, we're working to be easy to design with. Uh, additionally, with 2020 and Pro Kitchens, we've added on our website the ability to post comments. So if you or your designers find something that might be objectionable or you think should uh, draw differently or just not doing something right when you place the molding, uh, there's a place for you to submit that and that it really puts it into an online database that 2020 themselves has access to. So they're seeing directly. We're not, you know, uh, changing what you've stated and sending it to 2020 in an email. Uh, we're working with them directly through your communications. So we also focus on being easy to specify. Our spec book is uh, definitely very well thought out. And for the electronic version, we've added, um, you know, bookmarks so that it makes it a lot easier to search uh, through when, you know, when you're going through the catalog, you can just, uh, you know, pick the section of the spec book and then uh, scroll through that area. So like if you pick door styles, then all the door styles would be in there alphabetically. So it just makes it quick uh, on the electronic version. So in regards to easy to price, we have definitely simplified uh, the way you would price custom cabinetry. Uh, our door program, we have a door on program. So what that means is that in 
the cost of the cabinet. It includes the doors and the drawer heads. So a lot of other manufacturers are gonna have you select the different door or drawer front, and they may have you, you know, so uh, the five piece drawer head has a different price than the slab. You gotta count the number of doors, number of drawer fronts, uh, you know, so it, it just adds a lot of complexity. We, we've simplified the pricing so that you don't even need a pricing program if you, you really don't want to. You can put ours into Excel and you're gonna be pretty darn close. Um, so, you know, you look at the, um, so you've got uh, five price buckets. So if you look at like, again, the Farmington door style, two and a quarter inch rail is price bucket A, three inch rail is price bucket B, three and a half inch rail is price bucket C, and going to four inch is price bucket E. But you can go over to this cabinet and look at it, and you know that the list price for that cabinet in price bucket A is 1166. So it's really straightforward. You're not dealing with 99 price buckets. You're not, you know, uh, doing a bunch of things. It's just driven by your door style. You go to that specific door style, look at the pricing code, and you can price our product very easily. Uh, another thing that we've done to make it easy to price and actually increase the value to your end consumer is that our price also includes the five piece drawer head as standard. Uh, you know, something like a desk knee drawer won't have that just because of the height and that will be a slab. And if you have a customer that really wants slab, we'll make a slab. Uh, you just need to specify that. But, you know, for pricing purposes, we've included the five piece drawer heads. So, We've also looked at ways to make it easier to order. So we've created an online order submission. So you would submit your order on our website. And from there, you work with our design team and customer service. And the orders will go through the, you know, you go through the process. And, you know, we have also created automated emails uh, that are tied into our system so that you know we received our orders, you know the door style, finish selections, edge profiles, all that. So those automatically come to you. Additionally, once you sign off on it, you're gonna get an email that says that your uh, order has been released to the plant. And then also once it's at the plant, you'll get a notice that it's been released to production and that your order is in finishing. Uh, also that your order uh, is being assembled, you know, it's when it's being loaded, uh, when it's arrived at our warehouse and it's when, when it's shipped from our warehouse. So, and we've created other steps that are also automated and it's just really set up to make it easier to order and also easier to track your order. So, you know, in a lot of respects, we'd rather over communicate rather than under communicate on these things, uh, just so you're aware of where we are in the different stages. So here's just some samples of those. Your order's been received. Uh, you know, it's placed with the factory. Started the manufacturing process. Finished process. Assembly. It's left the factory. It's arrived at our warehouse. Uh, order's left the distribution center. So, you know, we've just built in those things to make sure uh, that we're trying to be or we're, you know, working to communicate and keep you up to date and not leaving it, those automated communications, it's not, we're not leaving it up to somebody to remember to send you an email. It's when we move it from one stage to the next in the cycle, you'll get an automated email. And of course, you can obviously talk to any of, you know, to any of us at any time, additionally, if you have additional questions, but, you know, we're, we're just trying to help keep those, uh, the communication going. Another thing that we do, uh, you know, we understand that when new dealers, when somebody, when a dealer takes on a new line, uh, a lot of times, you know, your designers aren't gonna wanna take the time to learn a new line. And, you know, especially until they get used to it, you know, your customer, you know, they're gonna have a customer that's in front of them and they're gonna fall back to the line that they're most comfortable with and design it in that. And we understand it. 
Uh, but one of the things we can do, and this is to help out, and is that we'll do, if you provide us with that quote in another line, so say you uh, had you know, the customer in front of them, they did it in that, and they're, they're really busy, um, you know, they can send it to us and we'll convert it to covered bridge and then provide you with that quote. Um, but, you know, we know offering that service that one of the things is over time, once they start selling the product, see the fit, finish and function of our product and how nice it is, that they'll start designing with it themselves. So, but there's gotta be, until they've seen the product firsthand and experienced the whole process, uh, a lot of people are gonna be hesitant to learn it. So we do offer free quoting services um, for people that are, um, you know, doing it a little more old school and are hand drawing things, we will take the information. If you still give us a, you know, like a floor plan uh, that you drew out, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and give you some elevations and that type of stuff of the different walls when we return the quote, uh, the pricing on that. One of the big things we do, and this is just to ensure that uh, when we deliver the product, it's what you expect. So we do pre-production reviews on every order. So, you know, it's a 10, 15 minute call, just reviewing the finer, you know, the finer details and some of the calls go longer depending on how ornate the kitchen is and that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, it's things like, you know, did you want a finish end here? Or you've got this wall cabinet that butts up against a uh, refrigerator end, you've got full overlay selected, and you have a machine edged door. So, you know, there's a possibility that door will rub against the end panel. Do you want to, A, use a filler? Do you want to extend the style? Do you want to do an integrated style that's moved in a little bit more? So we, we just talk through those types of things to ensure that when you get the product, it's what you expect, it's what your customer expects, and it's just to reduce the number of things that can go wrong during a kitchen uh, remodel. So another thing we're really focused on is bringing value to custom cabinetry. And you know we do this by really value engineering several different things. You know, we have the three levels of construction. So there's uh, a nice progression in different levels of construction. And what's nice about our construction is when you look at it from the outside, you will not see a difference. So your, your customer, whether they're ordering our essentials, our premium or ultimate construction from the outside, they're still gonna have a beautiful kitchen. Nothing's changed. You know, the wood is gonna be the same for the doors. Finish is gonna be the same. Uh, on all of them, we're using the same end panels. So you're gonna get a consistent product no matter which construction level you select. Things like the five piece drawer heads are definitely building value into it. Uh, value engineered wood species. Our highest upcharge on any wood species is 5%. And so, you know, those are things that uh, just have simplified the process. And we've also got some value built into how we do paint. Uh, our upcharge is on the lower side to start. And then additionally, you know, certain wood species are actually a 5% deduct. So things like, um, you know, poplar, white oak, red oak, those type of things are gonna, you'll actually save money. Um, and when you're talking about painting oak, we do have a wired oak option also as one of the distressing packages. So, you know, we understand that, you know, there's, there's some certain things that are really important to dealers when they're working with a manufacturer. Uh, on the front end, it's getting samples to your customer when they're ready to order a kitchen but they wanna see their door style in their finish. And so we have a guarantee there. And also we ship kitchens complete. We don't back order product. So, but you know, it's one thing for me to say it, it's something different for us to actually have something that has some teeth to it that says, if we were to back order something, you know, 
we're gonna take care of you. So when it comes to sample doors, uh, we have a 15 days or free uh, guarantee. So 15 business days and it's $50 net for a sample door and $35 net for a five piece drawer head. And that will include nationally branded paints. Um, you know, so the only thing that would be, if it's a true custom match, someone sent a sample to us, um, or it's a door style match where we're actually, or a door style, we're creating a door style um, and we're making knives and all that kind of stuff. Um, that type of thing would um, be something that would not happen in the 15 business days. So we're so confident about not back ordering things and, and it's really driven by the fact that we're self-sufficient. You know, it's making all the components ourselves in-house or the vast majority of them. So, you know, to make sure you have confidence that you're going to receive a completed project, um, you know, we offer 25% off any SKU with a back order. So if you had a tall cabinet that had something missing on it uh, that we had to back order, we'll give you 25% off the cost of that cabinet. And, you know, the reason we can do that though is we make our own doors, we make our own moldings. Um, a lot of people who are custom still don't make their own doors uh, and even less of them make their own moldings. So when it comes to something like that, if something happens to a door during production, uh, someone drops it or someone sands it wrong, uh, with other manufacturers, they may have to order the door from their door manufacturer, but it's not gonna be there before the kitchen ships. So they'll back order that uh, door and ship you the cabinet. And then it has to catch up at a later date and you're gonna be worried about it matching and all that kind of stuff. With us, since we make all that, we make sure the entire job is complete before it leaves our factory. Um, you know, so um, one of the things we also do that's a little unusual is um, we actually have, before it leaves the plant, you know, we have multiple photos of every cabinet. So you can see the front of the cabinet, you can see it with the left door open, you can see it with the right door open. Uh, just, you know, it's one of those things for quality checks and quality assurance, knowing that we've checked everything. David, excuse me, we have a question. Sure. Um, question is, how do you handle modifications? And then the second follow to that is, what are the lead times? Okay, so in regards to modifications, uh, first off, we have a, a, an awful lot. We have a big section of standard modifications. Um, and if, if the question's about cost on um, how we handle modifications, any reduction, so if you're reducing the height, the width, the depth, uh, all of those are, are no upcharge. So those are just, you know, you select the next cabinet size up and reduce it and you're good. Uh, so we, we do those that way, um, you know, but there are just an incredible amount of modifications that you can do. And even if you need a modification that's not in the book, um, you know, we definitely can, uh, make those modifications and um, they actually will spend a lot of extra time. Uh, you know, I guess the, the best way to say it is, you know, a picture says a thousand words. So when, when there's any true modifications other than like, with, you know, width, depth, height, all that kind of stuff. But if you're, you know, changing face frames significantly, or you know, you're rearranging things, we're gonna do a shop drawing and you're gonna get a, a, that shop drawing to look at and we'll actually have you sign off on it so you know what it's gonna look at look like. So that's part of the order acknowledgement process is on true custom cabinets, we're gonna go ahead and send you a shop drawing that we just want you to initial when you sign off on the order just to say, yeah, this is, I, I know what I expect. And, but you know, it's better for you to see it rather than, uh, 
you know, assuming that we both are on the same page to some, um, you know, special request or modification. Another question we had, well, I guess I'll let you answer the lead time question. Okay, lead times currently, uh, what we have listed is 10 to 12 weeks. And we've been averaging uh, so far this year, uh, 10.1 weeks to the, to the dealer. So, but we do advertise 10 to 12 weeks. And part of that's just in, uh, before the coronavirus, uh, we were eight to 10 weeks and we've gone out a little bit because of it, uh, but uh, we, we will get back there. But we built in a little extra time because you just never know uh, what's gonna happen during the process right now. Another question is, is the no charge for combined units, is that for the inset line only, inset line only, or is that across all lines? Uh, we will do, we'll combine cabinets for full overlay also. Um, you know, it's, it's much more common on inset, but you know, it's not unusual to see a couple cabinets that would be real hairy to install in the field, put together by us ahead of time. Great, thanks. Oh, you're welcome. All right. So, you know, we do all these things to make sure that our product, you know, uses the best materials, uses, um, you know, we really focus on quality and the steps to ensure we have a quality product, but we take it to the final stage, which is what do we do to protect it when it's being shipped? And we really, have you know probably the best packaging in the industry i've not seen any better packaging so if you look at this so like here's the bottom of one of our cabinets we even have a box that fills the toe kick void so you you're protecting that area so you're not getting that uh edge of the oops let me go back uh, you're not getting that front edge there uh, of the like face frame and door and that kind of stuff. Uh, all eight corners are going to have protection as well as the center. When we do the, we also put styrofoam, a half inch piece of styrofoam um, in front of the face of the cabinet. So that would be, um, you know, so it protects the painted, uh, you know, so the doors, um, and then additionally, we do a foam wrap and we do a saran wrap type material. And so that once this is packaged, it's not gonna move in there. And, you know, occasionally you'll see a box that looks pretty bad because of what a shipping company did to it, but it gets there, it gets unpackaged and there's no damage to the cabinet. Um, so it's just, we've really done a great job of protecting that cabinet because it's the, you know, the final mile, it's getting it to you and making sure that it comes there in one piece. David, we have another question. Um, is covered bridge cabinetry a, a face frame cabinet only, or is there a full access frameless option as well? So at this point we are framed only. Uh, we know we will get to frameless, uh, but I would say that currently that's probably 18 to 24 months away. Can you, uh, can you, can you share then, if it's framed only, can you share what the reveals are on a full overlay? Um, let me see if I can. Or maybe. Well, it's, it's going to be, uh, uh, hold on, I don't know if I just screwed up the screen or not. Actually, let's answer it this way. Uh, are they tight? Yes, are they're they really tight. Okay, that's, that's so, good. I think, I believe that, um, but I haven't, uh, you can still see the screen, right? Absolutely. All right, so hold on a second here. Um, well, it, I tell you what, Dave, that could be a one-off. If uh, yeah. one of the attendees wants to go one-on-one -on -one with you, you can answer okay. that in greater detail. But I think the question was whether or not there was framed or frameless as both options, and you've answered yeah. that, so thank you. Okay. All right. Um, so, you know, 
definitely have it packaged well. So if you look at everything we do, it's really designed, you know, to help you attain higher margins. So, you know, there's a couple ways you can, you know, obviously do this is you can, it gives you the ability to get a higher margin against, you know, some other lines that you're working with or even match the price on some lines, but have offer a better quality, but make a little bit more money on it. Or it also gives you the ability that if you need to, you, you can still come down and still make good margin. So it's really set up well. And, you know, a lot of those value engineering things we talked about throughout this will help you with that. So in regards to SEN and our promotion with SEN at the moment, um, you know, we are uh, starting this. So starting tomorrow, um, we are going to be offering free paint to SEN members. And in addition to the free paint, you're still going to get our Your Choice promotion. So you get our really, you know, a really good price point, really good quality, plus the Your Choice promotion, plus free paint. So we're really giving you a really good value to have you uh, start to look at this line. And it's, it's really a great product for your end consumer. And, you know, it's something that they'd be very happy to ha have. Uh, so here again is the Your Choice promotion. Uh, so for SEND members, you do have both of these promotions through September 15th. This is ongoing year round. Um, and we'll probably look at another promotion after that one. Uh, but, you know, to start, that's what we're doing. And so again, free paint plus the Your Choice promotion. Another thing we're doing to help uh, dealers uh, give you a sense for what we do, what our colors look like, you know, what our paint looks like, our stains, um, and even just the construction itself, we do have a starter kit. And for SEN members, uh, we are offering an option to earn the starter kit for free. So with that, uh, the starter kit is normally $400. And what we're going to do is offer 90 day terms for send members on the starter kit. So what that means is that, you know, you won't see an invoice on it for 90 days. So if you sell a kitchen within the first 90 days, we're going to send you a $0 invoice. So you're going to have these products for 90 days, the samples, you sell a kitchen in a time frame, you don't pay for this. If you don't, we will bill you the $400, but at least it gave you some, you know, some time uh, to set aside money to do that as well. And so what's included with that is you've got a really nice uh, molding box. We've got four by four inch color blocks. Um, there's actually 286 color blocks in here. So on most of the most popular colors, in addition to the base color, you're also going to see that in all four glaze option colors, standard glaze option colors, so that if somebody likes a color, they can see what, you know, what it'll look like with the glaze color. So, um, you know, it's a really nice set there. Um, we got drawer box samples and actually uh, the newer one actually has four boxes. I haven't seen it yet, but it, it, we do have it. Uh, um, based on COVID-19, I don't have it right now at the moment. Um, but so you've got the um, two ultimate boxes. So you're going to have uh, the walnut maple. You're going to have the poplar drawer box for the premium and the uh, rubber wood one for the essential line. Additionally, you've got uh, these end panel cutouts. So they're 12 inches tall uh, by six inches deep. And what those do is show what in essential and premium, uh, what the standard end looks like, as well as um, the difference between the lock miter two and those different options. So one thing I will point out that um, 
the ultimate has a, um, you know, they're both considered three quarter inch ends. They're all considered three quarter inch ends. Uh, one would be a domestic three quarter. And then the other, the essential and premium, actually it's, it's a hair thicker because they use actually a metric um, three quarter on those. Uh, then you also get the cutouts for the floor and ceilings. Uh, you're gonna get five painted doors and five stained doors. And that really gives you the ability to have something to start selling uh, you know, real quickly and also gives you a chance to see the quality of the doors, quality of the finishes, um, you know, what the drawer box materials are like. Uh, it's definitely a nice package. So, so David, we've got another <clears throat> couple of questions here. Mm -hmm. Regarding the sample set, is it the choice of the dealer? Does the dealer have the choice of what 10 sample doors they would like to place in their showroom? Um, we could do that. Uh, the, the thing that if we do that, it will extend the lead time. Okay, but they, you do have the choice. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll you'll definitely. Work, you'll work with them one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I'll work with them one-on-one, -on -one. but they could get this, the other stuff sooner then. Sure. Is there an upcharge for inset? If it was mentioned, uh, well, I, I did not mention it, but the upcharge for both uh, flush inset and beaded inset is 15%. And that does include for the drawer boxes going to the Bloom full extension uh, Tandem Plus runner. Great. Um, and can you also provide just a ballpark range on where? the three ranges of construction style and covered bridge where they kind of fit within the marketplace, you know, maybe, maybe share some common, some common names out there or where uh, some of our attendees on this webinar can get a feel for where covered bridge fits in. All right. So I, I can share it, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, this is a, just a question. They're basically, the question was, can you give oh. a ballpark idea and price range relative to well-known brands like Woodmote or Brookhaven or something else other like that? So, so just to, I guess, give you a sense. I mean, like if you were to do essential or essential construction in Poplar painted, you know, landed in a lot of cases, that's going to be, you know, 15% below a lot of your large semi-custom lines. Oh. So, you know, it just, so there's some value engineering in there. Now, again, you know, so there's, you know, it, just because of where this is, uh, you know, since you guys have this available online, I, <laughs> I don't like being too specific. Yeah, um, about that. But well, let me answer. Let me answer to our to the attendees this way, if you don't mind. Yeah, um, that Sen does have a cabinet comparison chart, and we do have some numbers that cover a covered bridge, and that they're either added to that list or they will be added shortly. And so that'll be a resource that you can also tap into as well. Yeah, and for and for Sen. Um, I, my understanding is like on inset, there's no one, you know, we're, we're against any of the lines and even some of the, um, you know, high end yeah. semi custom lines, you can do inset with us for what they'll charge for full overlay. Another question is, is freight added to the cost or is it built in with the dealer's multiplier? Uh, it is added to the cost and, uh, you know, for uh, you know, really the East Coast through the Midwest, uh, at this point we're charging what it equates to is four percent of the cost of the kitchen. So apparently, one of our one of the attendees is not too far from uh, where these are assembled and, and shipped from, and they said, "Great, they're going to make a trip up to see it." All right, we'll have to schedule it okay. uh, so that uh, you know. Make sure that with COVID-19, we've got everything covered. Yep. <laughs> but I thought I would share that, uh, that news Great. with you. Great.
Okay, in addition to the starter kit, which, you know, really you can, you can sell very well off the starter kit, um, you know, for something else to think about is our selection center. And again, it's priced very fairly. Uh, so it's $2,100 net. So the way that is designed is that we have all three levels of construction. So you have your essential line, your premium and ultimate. And we show the ultimate in inset, you know, just so that they know when your customer sees it, they know that we can do inset. Um, on the ultimate side, we show the optional lock mitered end. On the essential end over here, we'll show our standard three quarter inch end. Uh, we do have a half inch uh, tempered glass top on it with a nice beveled edge. So it really has a nice, um, you can really see the quality of the construction. So, you know, we're focused on showing how we do things differently. So, uh, and we didn't want to just use plexiglass, so we used a true glass. Um, and then you've got the doors up here and obviously an integrated end. So um, <clears throat> this will have the drawer box and this will be the rubber wood and the rubber wood drawer and roll out, your poplar drawer and roll out tray. And for the ultimate, it's going to show the maple drawer box and the walnut roll out tray. Great. So an additional thing that we do have to offer, and this is not covered bridge construction, uh, but this is uh, product through our parent company and the today's bath program. So uh, we're starting off with some limited SKUs, but we do have, whoops, we do have several, um, you know, standard type vanities and mirrors and options and that kind of stuff that are available via quick ship. And so those would ship within, you know, 48 to 72 hours, they're going to be leaving our warehouse and those would actually all be coming out of Indiana. And so it's just, an additional option for, you know, a furniture looking vanity that you can get quickly. Uh, okay. Additionally, we do have, uh, you know, some granite tops, engineered stone and marble tops that are available for those, those collections as well. And they already have the bowls in them. So, you know, it's just, those can ship at the exact same time. Those are in inventory in Indiana as well. So it's a you know, additional program that we have. Eventually we are gonna probably, I, I know I've talked to Greg, eventually we'll probably be offering the membership, uh, things like shower doors and that type of stuff that we do also, the parent company does. And that'll, that'll all be under the Today's Bath program. So, you know, if any of you are interested in becoming a dealer, uh, you know, please contact me. And, you know, there's my email and my cell phone. And we'll, you know, we'll obviously talk about uh, your dealership and Covered Bridge and talk about the credit apps and all that good stuff. And, um, you know, but uh, there's my contact information. And also uh, just, you know, that was the last slide. Just wondering if there's any additional questions. Are you shipping, uh, yes, there is one more question. Are you shipping the vanity line or the custom line to the West Coast? So right now, the we would have to work out the freight side of it. Um, we were getting ready before uh, the pandemic uh, with some things to go to the West Coast, and that's been kind of paused, but we we still can. Uh, we would just have to work on some logistical things. How far west? How far west do you are you shipping right now? Then, so we're at this point we're shipping out into the Midwest, uh, but it, it's really in reality, um, you know, we can ship. For us, eventually, the West Coast makes more sense almost than because it'll cut you know, it, it reduces the lead time in reality out on the West Coast. So, you know, but our dealer base is on the East Coast because that's where the corporate office is at. 
Okay, thank you. Um, David, another question that was uh, pr provided was, uh, you had mentioned that the parent company is foremost. Does that mean that uh, this, this question is, does that mean that the foremost vanities are available or is that just the limited line that you're talking about? And yes. the question was, so that if they, they could get it through covered bridge, wouldn't have to go through gray sales? Uh, for those, for the vanities that you saw there, uh, the Brantley series, you can get them through us. There are certain ones that, you know, may be made already for specific clientele. Uh, the other thing we're looking at doing, and I guess I, I, you know, this would have been a good survey question, is is there a need for a quick chip vanity with the covered bridge quality? You know, because we've, we've considered going and starting a vanity program with our vanities as well as a quick ship. Um, chat question was, are today's bath cabinets, are they made in the USA or are they just assembled? Well, they're, they're fully assembled overseas. They're not made in the United States. Okay, great, thank you. All right, I think, if there's any other questions, go ahead and uh, post those or we'll open up the mics um, and we'll pay attention. If there aren't, if there aren't, we'll just move on. Going, going. I think what I'll do is let you see me. Very good. All right, well, if there is something, go ahead and post it, but I'll continue by saying that we're delighted, David, that you were here to present for us. Uh, the Covered Bridge Cabinetry has been a valued partner of the Send Design Group for, uh, for a little while, and we're delighted to have you as a partner, David, and thank you for the presentation uh, today. If you'd like more information about the product, David had his contact information on the end of this presentation. This is and has been recorded. We post it on our website. Um, you can go ahead and uh, rewatch it, or uh, hopefully you jotted down his contact information. You can contact David and certainly ask any additional questions that you might have. Uh, just as a, we're wrapping up here as a reminder, in our next Lunch and Learn webinar series, we'll be actually next Thursday, same time, 1 p.m. Eastern. We're going to continue our series on the Good, Better, Best methodology. And next week's seminar, we'll be discussing what are the two major keys for consumers as you are presenting Good, Better, Best and adopting this methodology into your, into your uh, sales process and the process that you use to engage with a customer. Um, that'll be next Thursday, 1 p.m. The link and the registration should be available by Monday. I believe that there might be one more question, David. So before you go. Sure. Uh, the comment is this, thanks for setting this up and thanks to David for a great presentation. So absolutely, I, I echo those sentiments and I appreciate your availability today. Thanks everybody, I hope to see you next week, same time next Thursday as we continue our journey on the Good Better Best methodology. Thanks everybody, have a great day. Thank you.